Okay, we are going to use these three minutes for, for prayers, for open prayers. We are going to use one and a half minute for prayer. Then on our side, on the side of Muslims, one Muslim will also pray, one Muslim will also come and pray for us and open for us for one and a half minute. Then Okay, fine, inshallah. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الفاتحة بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين إهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين أنعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين اللهم عز الإسلام والمسلمين اللهم عز الإسلام والمسلمين اللهم انصر دينك وكتابك وسنة نبيك محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم اللهم انصر دينك وكتابك وسنة نبيك محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم لا إله إلا أنت سبحانك إن كنت من الظالمين ولا حول ولا قوة إلا بالله العلي العظيم ولا حول ولا قوة إلا بالله العلي العظيم بفضلك يا لطيف سبحان ربك لا بعيسى عما يصفون والسلام على المرسلين والحمد لله رب العالمين Now this is our program today inshallah uh, The first presentation will come from the side, from the Muslim side because Pastor Jesse started yesterday so today it will be Sheikh Ibrahim inshallah who will come here first and he will give his presentation for 30 minutes 20 minutes inshallah and then after that uh, we will have the presentation from Pastor Jesse for 20 minutes inshallah then after that we shall continue with other things inshallah so our topic today is did Jesus die on the cross that is our topic today crucifixion did Jesus die on the cross that is our topic today inshallah so everyone inshallah you get ready with your book and pen so that you can record everything that will be said here inshallah so let me take this opportunity to welcome al-habibi Sheikh Ibrahim Abdullahi he will come here and will take 20 minutes inshallah ta'ala you are welcome بسم الله والحمد لله محمد رسول الله لا قوة إلا بالله بسم الله على دين ونفس بسم الله على مال وأهل بسم الله على كل شيء عطاني ربي بسم الله غير يسمع بسم الله رب الأرض والسماء بسم الله الذي افتتحت وبالله توكلت لا قوة إلا بالله All praise as usual is unto Allah Tabarak wa Ta'ala, most gracious, most merciful. Peace and blessings be upon the Prophet, the universal messenger of Allah, Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. First of all, the topic on the table is was Jesus crucified. As Muslims, we believe that Jesus did not die on the cross. Neither did Jesus die on the cross, neither was he put on the cross. Neither was he buried, 
or resurrected the third day. All this is a hoax. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala states in the Holy Quran, chapter 4, verse 157. Allah says, وَقَوْلِهِمْ إِنَّا قَتَلْنَا مَسِيحِ الْعِيسَى إِنْ مَرْيَمْ رَسُولُ اللَّهِ وَمَا قَتَلُوا وَمَا سَلَطُوا Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says they say it in post. Who are the ones who say it in post? The Jews. And whoever says, Allah tell them that they did not crucify Jesus. Neither did they kill him. So the verse starts, وَمَا قَتَلُوهُ وَمَا صَلَبُوهُ so first comes Hatta, second comes Salah. This is the laws that God gave to Moses and the prophets. Every law must be followed. The Christians believe and they say they follow the laws of Moses. And for sure they don't follow the laws of Moses. Not a single Christian follows the laws of Moses. Not a single Christian follows the footsteps of Jesus. Never. All this about the death of Jesus, about Jesus being crucified, all this is a setup by man. But God Himself says, neither did they crucify, neither did they kill him, nor did they crucify him. So he was not crucified and he, he, was, he did not die on the cross. Not a, not a single verse in the Holy Quran says that Jesus was on the cross. Never. If you have one, then you can help the Muslims today. And if you bring them that verse, then it will be a new one. And you can never find a new verse in the Quran. What was there 1,400 years ago, more than 1,400 years ago, stands up to today. We we'll start tomorrow and we we'll start forever. Allah says, "Dalik al Kitab, la raib fi hudan lil mutaqin." This book is a guidance to all those who believe in God, the Quran. So about Jesus being killed, the Prophet of God being on the cross without clothes, naked, shouting, "Eloi, Eloi," asking for God for help. You are insulting the Prophet of God. Let's go to the book. Because the Quran has sealed that he was not crucified. Neither did he die on the cross. Wama Hakalu, Wama Salamu. In the last statement of the Holy Quran, of that verse in the Holy Quran, Allah states, Wama Hakalu Yakina. Definitely, for surely, they did not kill Jesus. We come to the Bible. We are just reading the Bible because they believe in the Bible. As Muslims, we believe in the Torah. We believe in the Injil. We believe in the Zabur. Not a single verse in the Torah says that Jesus was killed on the cross. Neither the original Injil, nor a single verse that says Jesus was on the cross. But you can find it in their setup, in the Gospel according to Matthew, in the Gospel according to John, in the Gospel according to Mark, according, 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 according. human statements. But we are doing them a favor. Let's look at the books. Jesus is a prophet of God. That is why you see the Christians so much confused. That is how they are confused about the cross. Today is the Son of God. Tomorrow he is God. The day after tomorrow he died on the cross. You ask him, why did God die on the cross? God dies, he says, no, 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 he doesn't. But that is another case. Another case. Another case in hellfire, another case.
We study the Quran first. Allah says, وَقَوْلِهِمْ إِنَّا قَتَلْنَا مَسِيْهُ عِيْسَى إِبْنْ مَرْيَمْ رَسُولُ اللَّهِ The Holy Quran starts with Khatam, before Salah. The Holy Quran starts with Khatam, before Salah. What is Khatam and what is Salah? They did not kill him. Because the Quran follows them. Came to fulfill what was there in the Torah and in the Zabur. لقد كان في قصصه عبرة لأولي الألباء ما كان حديثا يفتى ولكن تصديق الذي بين القرآن The stories that the, the world and the stories that what happened that you see in the Quran is what definitely happened. It's not stories just passing by tales. No. It is a fulfillment of what was in the Torah, what was in the Jeep, what was in the Zabur. So Allah, Allah knows what was in the Torah because He is the one who brought down the Torah to Moses. So He says, وَمَا قَتَلُوا وَمَا صَلَبُوا So this is the law of the cross. The law of the cross, someone must not be taken on the cross alive. He should be taken on the cross dead. If you read your book, the book of Deuteronomy 21, 22. If someone commits a sin, he must be killed.